right, so welcome to our yoga in the park. Everybody's got a nice shady spot. So remember, we're going to make this our own practice. So do what you need to do today to um, generate some relaxation and some uh, calmness to your mind as well as your body. We're going to start with some relaxation, so let's go down onto your Breathing deeply in through the neck and ribcage on the inhale and exhaling out through the nose, feeling that same area of your body contract and empty. Let's bring our breath and that awareness into the neck. Breathe down into your shoulders. And feel the breath moving down the length of your arms and out through your fingertips. Now let's guide our breath into our hips. our breath into our spine and let's breathe from the top of our head all the way down to the tip of our tailbone. Self in between each segment of our spine. As we inhale, let's start to float the arms up towards the sky. And then let your arms float all the way back behind you until they're resting on the mat. And then I want you to extend out through the heels of your feet and reach out through your fingertips and try to spread your fingers and your toes nice and wide. And then let your hands and feet relax a bit. And let your arms and legs go soft. And then we'll inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, return them to your sides. Once they've made it back down onto the mat, let's pull the left knee up to the chest and give it a nice close hug. While it's hugged in tightly, we're gonna point and flex our foot, working from your heel to your toes. And then draw that easy circle around, lead with your big toe. And go ahead and reverse. And then allow your foot to rest where it is. Let's send that leg back out onto the mat and switch. Bringing the right knee in, pull it in nice and close to your body. Flex and point your foot. Roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then reverse that circle. And then we can just rest our foot. Now let's bring the other knee back in. And once you've got your knees tucked in nice and close, rock a few. Nice massage. 
massage on either side of your spine. And then settle back to a neutral place. And now proceed to circle both knees around and around. Think about pressing that lower back into the mat. And then do a few the other way around. And then just come back to Hug those knees and close to the body. Let's tighten the belly, press through the back of your rib cage, and then think about rounding your shoulders, neck, and head off the mat, bringing your nose close to your knees. And release the head, neck, shoulders back to the mat. Try that again. Scoop the belly and press down through the back of the rib cage, bring the shoulders, neck, and head off the mat. And release back down. One more time, feel the belly button pulling in tighter and tighter. Press down through the back of that rib cage as you bring shoulders, neck, and head off the mat. On our next exhale, use the power of that belly. And then once you've made it upright, we legs relax open and your shoulders fall away from your ears. Allow your palms to face the sky. Dropping our chin to our chest, let's breathe into the back of that neck. Inhale, lift your head and tip back to open your throat. Inhale, lift and open your throat. And inhale, lift it back, opening the throat. Bring the head back to a neutral place. Shoulders away from your ears. To look over your right shoulder. Bring the head back to neutral, and let's turn to look left. Come back to neutral, and again we turn to look right. We turn to neutral and we turn to look left. And then we're back to that neutral place. From there, let's try drawing the shoulders up really close to our earlobes. And away from your ears. Try again, we're gonna pull the shoulders right up into the earlobes. And then drop them away from our ears. Dropping the shoulders away from our ears. Let your chin fall to your Place your hands together at heart center. Inhale, open your arms, open your heart. Exhale, scoop the belly and round your spine. Let your backs of your hands come close. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, open, and exhale, round, open, and exhale, round. Return to that neutral spine. Now let's drop the chin to the chest. Tip the right ear off to your right shoulder. Drop it back down and let's tip left. Drop the chin and tip right. Drop the chin and tip left. Once more, drop the chin and tip right. And then drop the chin and tip to your left. And then just let the chin rest on your chest. And slowly bring the head back to neutral. Continue to breathe deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. Take one more inhale. Exhale as we go soft and transition onto hands and knees. Made it onto hands and knees. 
Got shoulders over hands, hips over knees, tops of the feet pressed against the mat. Fingers wide spread. And think about pressing down into your second, third, and bearing weight into your hands, this is the hand position we want. Start to sink your navel as you lift your tailbone. Lift your head, open your heart for cow. Exhale, scoop in and round cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, round cat. Return to that neutral place and start extending the right leg behind you. Push out. Now let's add the left arm forward and rotate your palm towards the sky. Pull the right knee in to meet the left elbow and re extend. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, extend. Try once more. Exhale, pull in and inhale, extend. Return to all fours, and we'll switch. Forward, turn your palm to the sky. Draw the left knee into the right elbow, and re-extend. Exhale, pull in, inhale, extend. Once more, exhale, pull in, Return to all fours. Separate your knees, let your big toes come close, and then take your time as you push back with your tailbone. Let your chest drop to your knees. Keep reaching towards the end of your mat and turn your palms towards the sky. Deepening that stretch going down. Flip the palms back over. Begin to tuck your toes and let's push our tailbone. Allow your head to drop to extended arms. Feel the back of your shoulder blades reaching towards your tailbone. Let's walk the dog a few times. Really work at stretching those feet. Lifting onto the big toe knuckle and pushing those heels down. Now let's raise both heels at the same time and press them back down. Inhale, transition into plank. Belly button tight, buttocks relax. Modify if you'd like by sinking down to one knee or both knees. Press back up into down dog. Or modified plank. And exhale back up into down dog. Inhale again into plank. Then let's all modify to both knees. Start to lower, opening your elbows. Come down, tuck your elbows in. Lengthen the spine, press through the tops of the feet and the hip bones and rise into cobra. Exhale, elbows open, coming down. Again, elbows open, and then inhale, we rise for cobra. Let's re-tuck our toes and make our way back up into down dog. Inhale into your plank, modify if you'd like, or lower in one piece. Elbows come in, inhale, lengthen, rise into cobra. And then exhale, toes tuck, and we're back up into down dog. Inhaling to our plank, exhaling, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale. Nod your head, yes. Let it shake, no. And then just press those heels a little deeper. Take a giant step forward with your right foot. Let's place our foot between our hands. Feel that straight line running from the heel of your left foot out through the top of your head. Let's go ahead and sink the left knee down. Press through the top of the left foot. 
Push the left hand into the mat and then inhale, right arm to the side. Exhale, let's revolve at the waist. Bring that hand back down. Tuck the left toes under so you can lift your knee and return to plank. Stepping back. Press back up into down dog. Now we'll switch. Go ahead and step the left foot forward, placing it between our hands. Check that your knees over your ankle, our eyes are looking out. Got that nice straight line from right heel to top of head. Go ahead and sink the right knee down, press down to the top of the right foot. And let's reach to the sky. Let's do a little crescent moon. Forward again, hands to the mat. Now inhale, left arm to the side, and as we exhale, revolve at the waist. There's our twisting. Down. Tuck the right toes under. Let's return to lunge. Now we're ready to step our right foot forward, bringing us into forward bend. So we've got our toes in, our heels out, and we're gonna inhale and roll up slowly. Reach high and touch the sky. To our heart. Inhale again to the sky and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, let's sink deeper. Inhale. Exhale to the heart. Again, inhale, extend, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out, and exhale, sink. Our right foot, and then our left foot, bringing us to plank. Exhale, lowering, elbows tuck. Inhale, lengthen first, and rise into cobra. Tuck the toes, make your way back up into downward facing dog. Inhale, returns us to plank. And exhale again, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling up. Reach to our heart. So there's our first sun salutation. Inhale again, stretch up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale. Inhale, rising for cobra. Exhale, toes tuck, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into the heart. Inhale, extend and exhale, fold in half. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back. Down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Toes in, heels out. Inhale, coming up. Reach high to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again, extend. And exhale. Fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale. Back, right foot back plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward. Toes are in, heels are out. Inhale as we roll up. Reach high to the sky to the heart and now let your arms extend and find your standing mountain pose. Again. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Cradle your elbow with your arms, and then allow your head to drop within that frame. Releasing your 
your fingers back to the mat. Step back with your right foot into your lunge. Once you have a good sturdy lunge, push your right heel down and turn your right toes out. Draw an imaginary line from your left heel to your right heel. Lifting upper body, check your knee is stationed over your ankle, set our hip bones forward, our shoulders square, and add your arms when ready. Focus on feeling your body weight balanced equally into both feet. Shoulders stay relaxed, but arms are strong. Open the arms wide. Keep the spine neutral and begin to hinge forward. Let's bring the rib cage close to that front thigh. There's our warrior airplane. And then we're gonna extend the arms alongside our ears. And as we inhale, let's rise back up into warrior one. From there, let's start pulling our left leg straight without locking. Let the arms reopen to shoulder level, and then revolve. Facing the wide edge of our mat. Set our toes in, our heels out, our palms open to the sky. Stretch your fingers out really wide. Five. Rotate your palms to face forward. And then let your hands be closer and closer together. Allow just your fingertips to meet. Palms together. Lace all of your fingers. And then turn your palms to push away from your body. Breathe across that space you've created between your shoulder blades. And while we're pressing through the palms, let the arms rise. Allow your shoulders to fall away from your ears. Let your chin drop to your chest. We'll bring the head back to neutral. Re-extend your arms into your star. Holding the belly button tight, Let's start hinging forward. Parallel to our mat for our straddle airplane. And then from there, proceed to fold down. Let bend your knees as much as you need to. We're gonna inhale and push, looking out. And then exhale completely relaxing the upper body. Let's push down through the palms so the arms become straight. And then try raising your heels to your way up on the big toe knuckle. Push your heels back down, and then let's lift so the ball of our foot actually comes off the mat. Put your feet flat, 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 and then try again, raising your heels. Pushing your heels down and lifting the balls of your feet. And then press your feet nice and flat so you can feel all four corners of both feet pressed into the mat. From there, we're inhaling to look out our flat back once again. Exhale, extend the arms for airplane. And then inhale, rise to standing. Once you've made it upright, again, palms face open, and we've made it back into our five corner star. We're ready to turn our left toes to the front end of our mat. Align our left heel with our right arch, and then bend the left knee. Again, we're looking for balance, so we want our body weight centered equally. Press down into your second, third foot. Try 
And then as it lifts up, let's lower the right. Turn your left palm to the sky, pressing out through the heel of that hand. Feel that stretch go all the way up the left side of the ribs. And then begin to press. Continue to press. There's our reverse triangle. And then we can make our way back to our starting position. We're imagining that we're pressed between two panes of glass. And our right hip begins to pull right as our left arm is free. Once you can't go any farther, you can lower the left and lift the right. Each breath that we take, think about opening just a little bit more. It's like you're being pulled towards the sky. open, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. You can remain there or you could insert a push up. And then press back up into down dog. Let's walk our dog a few times. And then we'll sink Extend the right leg behind you and start to pull your heel towards the sky. There is our three leg. Send the right foot through your hands, bringing us back into lunge. Good. From there, we're going to start to pull that right leg straight and push your left heel down. Start to lift your right toes and let your upper body melt closer to your right thigh. And then see if sink into the mat. Let's take one more inhale. On the exhale, begin to re-bend the right knee. Return to the ball of your left foot. And then we're gonna push the right leg straight again, but this time, try extending your left leg behind you about Let's form a tripod with your front foot, and there's our tripod balance. So we can remain like this, or you could try aligning your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Rolling the left hip open. Like we're about to sit down into a While you're in your chair, you want to bring your knees closer together. 
and begin to lift your ribs away from your thighs. Frame your ears. Good. Chair pose. Inhale as we rise from our chair. Exhale, place your hands at your heart. And then let's return to standing mountain pose. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Again, let's cradle elbows in the palms of our hands. Let your head drop within that frame. Completely relax your upper body. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Release your fingers to the mat. Giant step back this time with our left foot. Brings us into our lunge. Pushing our left heel down, turning our left toes out. Straight line from the right heel to the left heel. Start Bones face forward, shoulders are stacked. Adding the arms, warrior one. Remember to center your body weight so we don't want to feel more weight pushing into our forward foot than it's in our back foot. Let's open the arms. Spine is neutral as we hinge forward, bringing our ribs close to our front thigh. Extend the arms alongside your ears. And let's inhale again and return to warrior one. Start to pull the right leg straight without locking. Let the arms open wide. And then let's revolve. And we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Toes are in, heels are out, feet a little wider than our hips. Fingers wide spread with our palms to the sky. As we inhale, start lifting the arms. Keep them a little bit. Think about just pressing your index fingers, or I'm sorry, your fingertips together. And then press your palms together. We'll lace all of our fingers. And then let your index fingers press together. So think about really lengthening out of your waistline without shrugging space between our shoulders and our ears. And let's do a little side bend to our left. Come back up and side bend to our right. Lifting back up. And then let the arms lower in front and just breathe between those shoulder blades. Let's release the hands, and now we're gonna bring them together behind the back. Hook them together whatever way works best for you. Think about opening the heart center, and pulling those hands down. Let's inhale our neutral spine. Exhale, start to hinge forward. Lead with your ribs. Fold down as far as you can. Bent knees is fine. Once you've got your upper body completely relaxed, see if you can extend the arms a little bit higher. Return them to the mat. Press down into your palms, pushing those arms straight. From there, we're gonna bend the right knee and just shift your weight towards the right side of your body. Eye towards the mat. And keep pushing the outer edge of your left foot into the mat. So really Come back through neutral. Let's bend the left knee, shifting our weight to the left. 
again, feeling that inner right thigh pulling down. Come back through neutral and switch again, bending the right knee. And the left knee. And then we're back to neutral. Once there, inhale with our flat back. And then exhale, arms wide. Inhale and slowly rise to standing. Returning to our five-pointed star, feeling all that open space. Good, now turn your right toes to face the end of your mat and align your right heel with your left arch. When you're ready, bend the right knee. And really work at finding that perfect place for your body where you feel balanced. Lots of power extending out through our fingertips. Good, now start to reach the right arm a little forward. And then as we lift the right, we lower the left. And we're gonna rotate that right palm to the sky. Actively feeling that opening stretch going up the right side of the ribs. And then let's pull the right leg straighter and straighter. Bring us into reverse triangle. And then we'll bring ourselves back to our starting position. So now we've imagined that we're being pressed between our left hip begins pulling left as our right arm starts reaching away from the left hip. Once we can't go any farther, we can lower the right and lift the left. Feeling like you're being pulled towards the sky. Creating lots of open space in your spine. No tension in your neck or your shoulder. Breathing across our hips. It's going to make a nice slow circle all the way around. On its way back up, we bend the left knee. And we move into extended angle pose. So we can either keep our right hand on the mat or we could rest our right forearm on our thigh. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, let's start revolving upper body. And we end up on the ball of our left foot. So we're back in our lunge. And then from there, press down into your left palm and inhale, right arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at your waist. Or sorry, twisting lunge. Step back into a good, strong plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. You can hang out there or insert a push up. And then press back up into downward facing dog. Walk your dog a few more times. And then press your heels down. And then start pulling back with your left heel, reaching towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Stepping our left foot through the hands returns us to our lunge. Once we've made it to lunge, we're going to push our right heel down and begin to pull your left leg straight. Lift your left toes and melt your upper body into that front thigh. 
and then see if you can press your toes all the way back down. On the next exhale, begin to bend the left knee and return to the ball of your right foot. So there we are back in our lunge, but not for long. We're gonna push that left leg straight again, but this time lift your right leg behind you about hip level. Form a tripod with your hands and your foot, and you can stay in that tripod, or you could align your left thumb with your left pinky toe. Begin to roll your right hip over. bringing you into your half moon balance. As we exhale, let's bring the right hand down if it's lifted, and then we can all step the right foot in. Toes are in, heels are out. Knees, trying to sit down in that little tiny chair behind us. Closer together, lifting ribs from thighs, and then adding arms alongside our ears. Breathing into our chair pose. Good, now let's inhale and rise from the chair. Exhale, hands together at your heart. And then let's return to standing mountain pose. So now I want you to visualize a nice, strong, straight tree. Feel that navel pulling in tighter to give you that nice, strong trunk. Begin to shift your weight into your right foot and place your left heel against your right ankle bone. Got a focal point for our eyes as we place our hands together at heart center. And then when you feel ready, you can and place it wherever you'd like without pushing your heel against the side of your knee. You can grow the branches of your tree if you'd like. Good, now try letting the branches open. Left foot return to the mat. Come back into your standing mountain pose, breathing into that balance into both feet. Good, and then again, we're still visualizing that nice, strong, straight tree. Feeling our navel pulling tighter against the spine, shifting our weight into our left foot, place and letting your hands come to heart center. When you're ready, you can lift that foot. And again, if you wish, throw the branches of your tree. Lower the branches. And then we can send that foot back down. And there we are, back in our totally balanced standing mountain pose. While you're here, think about lifting. Really pulling down with your fingertips towards the earth. Feel your kneecaps kind of lifting and then spreading those toes and being aware of all four corners of both feet pressed into the earth. From there, let's inhale to the sky. Exhale, folding in half. Inhale, looking out. 
Right foot back, left foot back, hold your plank. Now we're gonna position that right shoulder over right wrist so we can open for side plank. Modification, you know what to do. Side of the knee helps support you. Let's take the left foot and just step it out in front. So if you look, it kind of looks like your right leg is threaded underneath that left leg. And then from here, I want you to bend the right knee and you're gonna sit right down onto the right hip. Just step that left foot farther across the bent right knee. And we're gonna tuck the upper portion of our left arm against our inner left thigh. Behind you, press down into the earth. Inhale taller and straighter. And then as we exhale, make that rotation take place at your waist. So not up by your neck and your shoulders. And inhale as we extend to the sky. Exhale, let that left arm lower. Once it's down, we're going to uncross together. Bring them in as close to your body as your body allows. Hold on to your left ankle with your left hand and then stretch the right arm high and just do a little side bend to your left. See if you can bring the left hand up. And then let's inhale back to neutral. come back around and end up on all fours. Once we've made it onto all fours, let's extend the right leg behind us and then add the left arm forward, turning your palm to the sky. See if you can lift your left foot so it's not helping you balance. While it's still lifted, see if you can open that arm to the side. We'll bring the arm back around to the front. Set that hand down. Set your right toes down. And then step the left foot back, returning to plank. Now we're ready for side plank on the left side. So we've got left shoulder over left wrist. We're turning to open. Modification, side of the left knee on the mat. We'll step the right foot out in front. And then from there, we're gonna bend the left knee, ease ourselves down onto our left hip. Foot cross over the bent left leg. Now tuck the right arm inside that upper right Hand a little further back, inhale taller and straighter. Exhale, feel the rotation at your waist, allowing you to look over that left shoulder. Inhale, left arm to the sky, a right arm to the sky, exhale, let it float down. And then from there, we can uncross and simply stack our knees and feet as close together as our body allows. Once there, hold on to that right ankle with your right hand, send the left arm high, and do a little side stretch. See if you can come up with your right hand and pull on that left wrist. Exhale, let the arms come down. Let's move ourselves around onto all fours. Once we're there, this time it's the left leg extending behind us and that right arm reaching forward, turning our palm to the sky. Seeing if we can lift that right foot, not helping us balance. Opening the right arm while we're here. Set 
Set the hand and the foot down and then let your left toes come down and step the right foot back. Let's press ourselves up into down dog. A few more walks of our dog. And then let's raise both heels nice and high and press them back down. Now we're ready to come down on. Big toes touch, knees apart, and slowly make your way back into extended child's pose. Allow your ribs to drop through your knees, your foreheads to the mat, arms reaching towards the front end of your mat. Turning our palms towards the sky is gonna increase the stretch down the side of our ribs. Let's take the left arm and pass it. We'll bring that arm out and switch. Passing right arm to the left. And then let's bring that arm back out. And once again, really stretch long. Let's bring the hands closer to our knees and gently lift the upper body. Now have a seat. Let's start by placing the soles of our feet together. And then you can rest your feet in the palms of your hands and pull your heels a little bit closer into your body. Meanwhile, top of the head is being drawn towards the sky. And we're gonna breathe into those inner thighs and outer hips, actively pulling our knees towards the earth. One more inhale. Exhale as well. Let's bring the knees together. We'll place our hands behind our thighs. Pull away from our ears. Meanwhile, we're going to lift and open the heart. Hold the belly button tight and find your balance on your tail. Without allowing your back to round out, see if you can start to extend your legs. No worries about straightening your legs all the way. Find that place where you can maintain your balance without letting your back round. Add your arms. And then slowly start to open. Once we've made it down, stretch out through your fingers, push out through your heels. And then we'll lift the arms up and let's return them to our sides. Let's bend our knees, keep your feet on the mat. Toes in slightly, heels out slightly. Feet about hips distance apart and keep enough space between your gluteals and your heels so that when we go up into bridge, we're using the hamstrings and the gluteals. So slowly, one vertebra at a time, start to lift into your grip. Once you're up in the air, make sure you're not feeling any weight in your neck. And then pull the left knee to your chest. And then from there, I want you to bend that left knee, but place your ankle on your right thigh. Yep. Now slowly lower down one segment at a time. 
Once you've made it down, we're going to bring hands under your thigh. While you're pulling that knee in closer, keep opening the left knee wider. So we want to really feel some good resistance in the outside left hip. Now see if you can extend your right leg towards the sky. Walk your hands a little bit closer to your ankle. Continue to pull both legs towards your face. And rebend the right knee. Once your foot has made it to the floor, cross your left leg farther over. Open your arms and begin to take them as far as they'll go without lifting that left shoulder and just kind of gaze over your left hand. Let's ease the knees back to neutral. Uncross the leg once again. Tighten the belly as you slowly lift back up. Remember, we want to be feeling this in the buttocks and the hamstrings, not in the thighs or the knees. Pull the right knee in and extend that leg towards the sky. And then let's bend the right knee, placing your right ankle on your left thigh. Continue to hold your bridge. And then start to slowly come down. Once we're all the way down, lift the left foot, thread your hands behind your left thigh, pulling those legs closer to your body. But keeping that right knee opening. Try extending your Walking your hands up closer towards the ankle and continuing to draw those legs towards your body. Let's rebend the left knee, rest your foot on the mat. Cross the right leg farther over the left. Wide. And now we're going to let those knees fall to our left as far as they'll go without lifting our right shoulder. And we're gazing out over that right leg. Bring the knees back to neutral. Uncross your legs. Let your knees and feet be close together and then start to pull the knees open and let the soles of your feet rest together. Lift the arms towards the sky and just give yourself a nice bear hug. Let's release the arms and then just change the cross so that the other ones are nice big hug. Let the arms release. And you can bring them down alongside your body. Go ahead and let's stretch out one leg at a time. Push out to your heels, tense up your legs. Tighten the belly. 
tightening the arms. Make really tight fists. And then scrunch up all your toes. And let's release the toes, release the fingers, relax your arms, and relax your legs. Continue to notice your breath, feeling it. Acknowledge any random thoughts that present, but send them on their way. And bring yourself. Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion and lying and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. Send away all of our anxious thoughts and make a decision to live today with courage, with an open heart, a grateful heart, and a hopeful heart. Spreading random acts of kindness wherever we can. Remember that my soul honors your soul. I honor that place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste.